unconditional inclusion must include exclusion. From this perspective, an approach to nonviolence that excludes violence does violence to violence. Still with me? And so, my fruitful hypothesis, violence occurs as a natural and instinctive effort to re-engage. That is my argument. The them of our us-them binary, having been driven to the limits of an unconditionally inclusive reality, arises as a variety of wrathful protector because we can't make it go away. We can't make it go away. Our only real choice is to wake up and it is the protector's job to wake us up. The reason I'm calling this hypothesis fruitful is because it insists on relationship and relationship is the nature of reality. So how would we practice based on this fruitful hypothesis, assuming we wish to take it on? First of all, we have to recognize that there is no escaping our relationship with violence. Sometimes when I'm teaching Dharma, I see the light goes on in someone's eyes and they'll say, oh, I get it, I have to accept reality. And my response is, and your choices are? <laughs> so I am suggesting that we not only recognize that there is no escaping our relationship with violence, but that we embrace it. It's there. It's not going away. Secondly, that we take responsibility for the nature of that relationship. A little over 20 years ago, <clears throat> I was living here in Boulder and I went down to spend the last month of my father's life with him in Cape Town. And before I left, I spoke to Vicki Howard, who used to teach gerontology here at Naropa, and asked her for some advice. And she said, if your relationship with your parents is going to change, you're going to have to be the one to change because they're not going to. And I would say the same is true for violence. We keep wanting violence to change into something that we would prefer, into something that causes less suffering. But it's not going to, we're the ones who are going to have to change. And that's what I mean by taking responsibility for the nature of our relationship with violence. And finally, committing to the work of transforming that relationship with violence. <clears throat> 